you're right guys so this is a bit of a hefty match right now as you can see I'm pretty limited to units this is obviously a match against the picked I did mention in a previous episode that I will be doing this video at some point there's some whales on the water that's pretty cool looks like he's going to be swimming sh is that whales or dolphins well, probably whales so he's going to be swimming straight into the shore but that's not my problem that'll just be free whale blubber as you can see they've got a hell of a lot more units than me and the yeah, the count is far higher by at least 600 units. Oh, the enemy should know when the odds are and they actually have more coming, so not great. Obviously, I'm going to bring these units up onto the shore because I don't like doing the battles in the sea because it's always bloody one side anyway. And I don't think they've mastered it too well just yet. It's got a little bit more work to come, but the idea is cool that you can have bat battles in the sea. I actually had a, I haven't actually had a battle properly on this, but when I played it on Total War Rome, it wasn't as polished as it could have been. And then obviously I can battle a hell of a lot better and be more strategic when I'm actually on land. As you can see, they're all bringing a shit ton of boats across with a shit ton of units. All I wanted right now was to ensure that they couldn't come across and sack my location again. So I just did whatever I can to try and thin them out. Maybe if they did set my location again, just bring a hell of a lot more units back and finish them off instead of attacking the uh, instead of attacking Ghoul. But we would have came to that when I had to. Let's fast forward it a little bit, just so the units will get onto the sea or get onto the shore. Sorry, out of the sea. So I couldn't tell where they wanted to moor up. Because there's just so many of them, I didn't know where I wanted to attack, so I was just running back and forth, trying to see what I could do to have a little bit of opposition on my hands. As you can see, these guys have decided they want to moor up on the in the dock. Actually, a few of them obviously moor up down the bottom, but they're not really much trouble currently, as they're a fair distance away. So I've still got my general up here with some cav units. Keeping them out of the way, just while my Nordic Spearmen are these in the shield wall right now. Can't actually tell, but they're pretty close, whatever's going on. As you can see, there are a shit ton of them already moored up at the bottom. And more, more hung up in front of us, as we speak. With their general coming in straight up, and obviously the stripey one right here. a nicer looking boat. All jumping off the ship. Ready for some fire. All I could do currently is just wait for them to jump off the ship. And then I wanted to push my units through. Obviously I was waiting for this little dickhead here to join jump off so I could actually get down and attack. That would have been a hell of a jump, Jesus Christ. It's like 12 foot. Like, yeah, run my units all the way down and try and finish off as much as I can of their general. So as you can see, their units have dropped a significant amount already. My general is being attacked. Don't know really much about that. Where is he? Right at the back. I'm not too sure on that. How the hell he got attacked. Obviously, as you can see, their units across down here are attacking buildings and God knows what else. Instead of focusing their attack on me, but I'm perfectly fine with that. These Thrall Spearmen, I do push up in a second to try and secure a line to stop them from being able to push down to protect their general. Obviously, that general's got no hope with all these units going down and finishing them all off. Obviously in these sorts of situations, the only chance you really have is to destroy their general first. See, I've even got my general down there to finish them off. Yeah, the only chance you have is to kill their general. To lower their morale, as you can see at the top there, the chance of me winning has gone up a little bit, but nothing too much. So as you can see, they have both surrendered now as well. I've got these spearmen right down here, and 
they don't look like they're in shield wall just yet. Oh, they're just firing, so we've got some dog units coming down here, see if I can get into a first person view. It's pretty good. Cool. Cinematic view. Finishing them off before they can even get down there. Wait, have I got that on fast forward? No, I don't know, it's growing funny. Finishing off. Obviously, as of this point, the general, their general, is dead. So they're bringing their more dog units up. That's ain't too great to do. Yeah, these units are in shield as well. So they're just going to get sacrificed right now. Some of their heavy units pushing straight in. As you can see, I have a hell of a lot of units coming down here as well. With the, they have some units here. These Nordic skirmishers. I do go round in a second and scare them off with yep these Nordic raiders. I soon change their mind when they run in. And I'm just holding the fort with these twelve spearmen in shield wall. I've got two at the back and one in the front. With these Nordic skirmishers just raining down fire. My general is obviously staying quite close to offer some helpful morale. With these units at the right hand side here just being finished off. I did notice also that these Nordic levies here did want to come down and attack my Nordic raiders. So I've just brought them all back. Bit of a hectic fight down here. They're both fairly evenly matched. I've also got this tower just across here, but shooting a vast amount of them. Yeah, I did also just notice that they were taking the tower on the left, so these units here are going around to attack them. With more of their stupid dog units running in. And I'm also pushing a lot of my units from the back in as well. Pretty certain I can take these guys around there in a second. Or maybe I'll just put them in shield wall just for the time being. Just in case they do come around. There we go. Going around to finish them off now. They're in more Nordic levies in. But they use Nordic levies. I'm quite surprised at that, considering they're Scottish. But whatever, if they want to use those, they want to use those. Maybe they're just the Scottish alternative for only way with the same one. Attila, that's fine with me. As you can see, they have instantly retreated. Just to sure they want to run back. I hold these units here just so I can hold my watchtower. And just keep this bloodbath of a fight in the middle going on. Obviously, as you can see, they are quite evenly matched, so not many units are dropping fast. They are just dropping every so often. I'll just watch that guy sacrifice a couple of my men. Right, you can get right in there. Yeah, it's just so tight. You wouldn't know what to do in this situation. You can see that unit in the back retreating. What are they? Oh, they're mercenaries, Nordic Axe Warband. Oh yeah, they're obviously using these units because the Jutes took over the centre of England. Around Birmingham sort of area, so... They're obviously able to get their, them as mercenaries. See, these units over there have run off, so I'm able to bring these units back. And offer some more support. Now there's a 50-50 chance of victory on both sides. Not many, <laughs> not many of my units have been lost yet. So I have lost a few of my buildings here. That's literally because of my towers, but what can I say? As you can see, these units have retreated now. So I'm going to push these units up this way. Take a couple of these guys out. They've obviously prepared for this at the back, so they're now charging in. But I have other plans, 
So I think it's going to pull my units up to shield wall. Bringing these skirmishers up as well, just to offer a little bit of fire from behind. Just make sure they can't get in. Fire's burning on that, would be nice and hot on this, oh jeez. Oh, they've got here, there's some Nordic skirmishers as well. So they are ready. Uh, right now I do bring these units around so I can try and take out, I'm pretty sure I actually tried to take out the um, Ants Warband. These swordsmen here weren't actually meant to charge straight on through, they were meant to come back and round with the um, Nordic Raiders. As you can see I do reroute them right now. They didn't do too much damage to be honest, they probably just created more of an inconvenience for their Nordic levies. As you can see they are ready and waiting down there. I'm not too sure if they know I'm there yet. Yep, the Nordic Raiders do right now. Oh no, sorry, Nordic Axe Warband. So they're obviously coming down to try and take out some of my cav, but that's not going to come very well. And I surprised them with these motherfuckers. As you can see, they did not want that. Probably should be bringing these units up right now. These units are obviously being finished off right in the centre here. With these units being scared shitless. Straight in. There, obviously, my cav runs straight in to try and get some easy kills. They have now retreated, so I'm able to push straight through, finishing off the remaining men there. With these men fighting here, and these obviously oh, I have no clue what they're gonna do. As you can see my cav has just run through because I, I, I ideally I did want them to go and attack their Nordic war, was it Nordic warlord and they obviously got interrupted by the um, axe war band but it doesn't matter I still destroyed them so I'm gonna finish off a couple in there poke poke I can get right in there on them. Oh. Straight in. Finish them off. Filthy peasant scum. <laughs> I think they can come over to my land. Straight from Scotland. Be bloody mad. Wait, what's he doing? Ugh. Brutal. I think playing dead would probably be the best bet for these units right now. Wait, looks like he's gonna get stabbed. There is that unit up there as well. Just making a break for it. Ooh. chasing him off. My characters are knackered. There's a little guy at the back. Oh, there's another little guy over there. Not too sure if I actually 
finish this man off or I let him run free. Yeah, I have a feeling I let him run free. I don't think I actually ever get there. Would have been easier if these guys prioritised using um, like ranged weapons. Let's see if I can have a look how far their range is on that. Doesn't actually say. Yeah, so there you go. I obviously let him run free. And then obviously sacrifice him as soon as he walks over the line. Because <laughs> I can't be having any of them taking my land or sacking it or whatever they wanted to do. So, a close victory, supposedly. I don't think it was very close. I think it was very one-sided and I just destroyed them. So, if you like this video and you want to see more, feel free to drop a sub and give me some loving. I've got plenty more to come, so I will see you in the next video. Ciao!